All the key differences in the Mean Girls musical movie. The original Mean Girls may have been released in 2004, but its Y2K cultural zeitgeist quickly translated into one of the most quotable movies of all time. So much so, that it was adapted into a Broadway musical in 2017. Since it received the musical treatment and an all-new screen adaptation in 2024, the iconic, and at times, problematic, punchlines had to be updated to fall in line with the current social climate. And, let's be real some of the jokes from the Og Mean Girls definitely wouldn't fly in 2024, and even a mean girl like Regina George is sensitive to certain groups and well aware of cancel culture. During an interview with the New York Times, writer and producer Tina Fey clarified that she made some changes as parts of the original film aged poorly. I was writing in the early 2000s very much based on my experience as a teen in the late 80s. It's come to no one's surprise that jokes have changed, she explained. You don't poke in the way that you used to poke. Even if your intention was always the same, it's just not how you do it anymore, which is fine. I very much believe that you can find new ways to do jokes with less accidental shrapnel sideways, she continued. She added, I know that even Regina would know what wouldn't fly. She's going to find a way to inflict pain on people, but she's not going to get herself in trouble, Tina explained. The screen adaptation of the Broadway musical has officially hit theaters, and fans of the original 2004 flick may notice some things are definitely different this time around. Ahead, find all the key differences between the two films. Caddy has a single mom. In the new film, the office's Jenna Fisher takes on the role of Katie's mom and she's raising her daughter as a single parent. Janice is openly queer. In the original Mean Girls movie, the storyline tiptoed around Janice's identity by using Lebanese as a descriptor and through Regina's joke made during the gym assembly where she says, it's her dream. Jumping into a pile of girls. This time around, Ollie Crabbleho's take on the character is openly queer, and her jab in the burn book calls her a pyroless. And because of that, her past with Regina is more complicated. Janice has complex feelings when it comes to Regina and their past, according to the new film. In the 2024 adaptation, the pair were best friends in middle school and had matching plush toys. When Janice came out to Regina, they both put gay pride pins on their toys in solidarity. Damien tells Caddy that Janice and Regina even kissed during a game of spin the bottle, but it turns out that Regina only did it to get attention from a guy named Kyle. It seems that Janice's reasoning for her revenge stems from potential romantic feelings for Regina and the betrayal she felt after she kissed her and left her dry. The iconic four-way call scene? It's like the limit, it doesn't exist. Unfortunately, the four-way call scene that birthed Buyu, Hor didn't make its way into the 2024 version. According to Tina Fey, some of the scenes and jokes were cut from the new film, but not for moral reasons. Some of that was just needing to go faster to make room for songs, she explained to the New York Times. Okay, fair. But imagine this four-way call in song form, 